you know what? All these entertainers used to pattern after pimps. Yeah. I started all the big jury with entertainers because yeah. I had the biggest jury in the country back yeah. then. Mm-hmm. And that's why you see a lot of entertainers with jury right now mm-hmm. like they were. Like trying to be like the pimps. Yeah. So that's. No, let, me, let me add something that I had wanted to say earlier. He had mentioned Red Fox. Mm-hmm. When you start talking about guys like that and you go back in time and you look at what I said we were robbed of, look at those characters. Those were what you would define as real players. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? There was a certain culture there. There was a certain refinement there. It, you, when you saw those guys, you weren't looking at average guys. Right. Right. They had a character that spoke for itself because that was our culture. Mm-hmm. They had come up in a time, some of them guys came up in the 20s, 30s, the 40s, but the message there within the community was refinement. See, you go back and you look at the pictures, you know, men didn't leave without top hats. They wore suits every day, day. dress shoes. Mm -hmm. If they had a coat on, they always had a pair of gloves. This, this is a gentleman. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that was so important to our lives because if you go and put on a suit and you put on a tie, how does it make you feel? <laughs> Good. It, it, it puts you in a different state of mind. For sure. Mm-hmm. You see what they robbed. You see what they robbed us of. And they tried. So, uh, you know what? It makes sense. Yeah. So by by telling a brother that is refined that he's wrong or bad or demonized for just putting it on the right way mm-hmm. or whatever, now they make try to make the society look down on this brother that's sharper than a two dollar quarter. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if y'all remember the interview with Charleston White that I did. <laughs> So in that interview, Charleston White said, Ken, I dressed up just because you were coming. And he got on Adam Ross show that same night. He said, I had to dress up because Pippi Kim was coming. That's the effect that Grandmaster Rick and myself have on entertainers. Mm-hmm. So when you think, of, you say how many entertainers that we mess with, you know, hmm. Uh, my daddy used to hang out. I was just telling him we had this conversation with Tyrone Davis. My daddy used to get with Tyrone Davis. All Bobby Womack. You know, I saw these people when I was a baby. But then, you know, that inspired me to later. I end up working with guys like Fifty Cent in the PIMP video. I worked with Lil John. I did two hours with him. I did five hours with Pimp C. Five hours with Pastor Troy. So a lot of those. Uh, Nelly. I was in. Uh, it's hard to hear video. We did it. I was in the first version of it. Then he did something called Pim Juice, when I think mm-hmm. Chicago, the whole Chicago was in it. You know, uh, Drew Down, all them brothers, man, they called us for the game. I've been on so many albums, you know, over 40 million records. So mm-hmm. I think that the, if it wasn't, if I wasn't a pimp, or if I didn't have that moniker, or that, or that title, mm-hmm. I don't think that these guys would have had, gave me the time of day because it was a lot of, yeah. you know, drug dealers. It was a lot of, mm-hmm. Uh, shark, car shop, pool shops, and stuff like that. But because I, I held the title Pippin Ken, they deemed it appropriate to have me in all their things. So, like Virgil, you know, I, I kind of capitalized on it. So I would throw these parties of ugly money every year. And I would have all the celebrities come to my party. They would come for free. Mm-hmm. So, in so many ways, as much as the Europeans, the, uh, the white supremacists, want to demonize the ism of the Pippin. The, on the on the uh, African American side, on the uh, counterpart side, on the entertainment side, they deem it appropriate because in the game, and these gentlemen, you know, they're a little older than me, but they'll tell you I'm not lying. In the game, the pimping is the elite game. Mm-hmm. It's the elite game. And I told you before we had this discussion. I said hey, one game pay another. Remember I told you that. Mm-hmm. So if somebody robbed me, right? Mm-hmm. They more than likely gonna go buy a blow from the from the cocaine man, mm-hmm. and they gonna get a blow. They gonna get high, and then once they get that blow, they gonna go and they gonna go to a king of diamonds. They gonna throw a whole bunch of money away because they're high. Then the bra that's uh, dancing, she gonna go give it to a pimp, 
And then that pimp, he gonna go give it to somebody else. And the game is just gonna keep on circulating. Going in circles, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, 